I really like this opening exchange between Frank and this other random Band of the Hawks guy here, who I never did give a name, but I brought back that voice a couple of times when I wanted just a random, silly voice for an extra. Uh, that, that, well, well Lithby, ooh, Thekthi, uh, <laughs> flamingly gay voice was originally one of my ideas for Griffith's voice. And I, I ultimately decided, no, it, it was too far out there, it was too flamey, you know. It would get annoying if I did it all the time with a main character. So I, I think that, you know, worked out well. It, it's perfect for a minor character, but it would have gotten a little annoying. I like Griffith's final voice better. This episode's very Adon heavy, and I love Adon's character, but I just was never, ever quite sure what to do to, with him. And his voice, I don't know, it was always kind of ill-defined until he got the crap beat out of him and he lost his front teeth. And then he would... Super! Easy to do! <laughs> this was my my eighth episode um, once a week for eight weeks. My first eight episodes got posted. And by this time, oh god, I was just exhausted. So I think the quality of this episode kind of shows that. Looking back at it, it's one of my... I wouldn't say one of my weaker episodes, but... Most of the ones that are weaker than this came earlier, so I at least had the excuse that I was still new at it. Whereas, by number eight, by this point, I had no excuse. I should have <laughs> done better. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Great job, everyone. You know, I'm starting to think that you guys don't want to talk about But it still does have some great bits in it like that right there. And here we... I'm about halfway through the episode already, and I finally got around to, Oh yeah, I should probably play the opening. For, for quite a while, I, you know, I tried to just, you know, have, you know, 15, 20 seconds and then the opening, but sometimes I just couldn't find a good stopping place, so for a while it just seemed to creep in later and later and later, to the point where I, I made a bit of a joke about it in one episode later on, where I, I don't do it until the very end. And more bagging on Puck. I fucking hate Puck. <laughs> so another little in-joke for those who have read the manga, but I thought that that did work out well. Well, let's not be hasty. It is true that your incompetence did cost countless lives, but Puck is like the Jar Jar of Berserk. If anything, Puck's worse than Jar Jar, I think, because Jar Jar, as bad as he was, only fucked up one movie out of six. Whereas Puck is is in a good three quarters of Berserk at this point, constantly fucking things up. This scene I was never quite happy with. The implication is that because he's being named a Count, people think he's a vampire. I, I, I don't know. I didn't think it quite worked out. And then here's where I semi-famously tried to retcon my earlier decision to rename Julius Douchebag. I decided it was too lowbrow, so I... <laughs> At the last minute, said, "Oh no, no, no! That's just the king's nickname for him. He's he's still Urius." <laughs> and then, in retrospect, I really should have been calling him Julius the whole time, considering that that was obviously a translation fluke. Oh well. Love that line. <laughs> Even in my worst episodes, I I still do manage to pull out some good lines every now and again. This this whole scene's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if my Dr. Evil impression was ever quite good enough to really get the point across, but I think that most scenes that Minister Foss was in were, you know, worked even without the Dr. Evil voice. At the end of the day, <laughs> I just did the impression so that I could have another voice and it would be distinct enough. <laughs> I bring back that whole three hours later with the wolf howl a couple of times, but <laughs> it's a stock joke, but it works. <laughs> Vegeta loves that 1-800 assassin thing. I don't think it really ever stood out for anybody else, but man, he loves that shit. <laughs> Made us bring it back for the Christmas special. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.